Hey guys, it's Sarah. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial. To begin, I will be taking this brush and rubbing liquefied chewing gum on my eyelids. It was already a liquid when I found it on the floor of a movie theater, and it still had its flavor. I think it might have been bubblegum. Next, I'm going to color my eye black with a Crayola marker. Don't worry guys, 1 out of 10 dermatologists say this is safe, so try this at home. I was trying to go for the beat up look, and black eyes get the point across. So now I will take this thin brush and use the palette in a box to give my eye more color. Halfway through this, I wondered why I didn't use a marker for this part as well, because black marker doesn't run. I don't know if my boyfriend is going to break up with me, guys, so I'm always prepared because I don't want my makeup to run. Here I get another color and use it. Eyes are the window to the soul, so I'd better make the, the blondes look pretty. Now I'm doing the arc of my eyes and getting that contrast. Here I'll put the cu here I'll put the Q-tip in my mouth and get a good goober. I think of it like sucking on a lollipop. Boys love the spit on my on eye look. Now I'll take the sugar and put it on the edges of my eyes where the tear gland is to prevent crying. The last thing I need is for me to cry and have the makeup run. Remember, looks above health. Now I'll take this brush and wig powder and apply the wig powder to my eyes. Now here I got a bit constipated, so bear with me guys. I'm going to draw wings on my eyes using this eyeliner. This part is safe guys, there's only a 20% chance of getting the eyeliner in your eye. I took this part real slow as you guys, as you can tell. Thought you guys might want to really observe. Here's a creepy face. Now I'm going to color the bottom of my eye black. Near the red part mosquito mosquitoes get into. Now I've decided to change professions and be a barber with Sweeney Todd as my role model. But seriously, my eyes are way too fat, so snippy snippy. <laughs> After that, I'll take this eyeball remover and use it to bring out my eyelashes. Then I'll darken my eyelashes even more, and I'll do the same with my bottom lashes. Girls, guys go crazy for this. Plus, it stops mosquitoes from getting in your eyes. Why hitting yourself? Why hitting I'll take this sunscreen and dab it onto my face, and then rub it in just in case I go swimming. I'll take more liquefied gum and take this sponge, dab it in the gum, and rub it on my face so I look like I have the bubonic plague. I've decided to stray from the beat up look a bit, now I'm going to take some of my brother's nasal gel that prevents nosebleeds and put it under my eye. Well, now I'm back to the eye, putting purple paint under it. Now, under that paint, I'll have brown paint, and after that, I'll put some more purple paint. Then, I'll take some more wig powder and put it on my face. The liquefied gum helps keep the powder in place. Now, tuck in your cheeks, because now we're using brown wig powder. Put that all over your face. Now, we have gray wig powder to put over all that. The liquefied gum is a must-have for this much powder. Next, you'll put tan powder on your nose and chin and lip. I'll cover all this with brown paint. Then I'll touch it up with black paint. Now I'll comb my eyebrow, the drapes to the windows to the sole. I'll take some chocolate foot pudding and rub it into my eyebrows. It provides a good snack in tough times. MORE WIG POWDER! Now I'll do the lips. I'll prime them with white lipstick and outline them with a fancy art pen from Michaels. Boys love the Italian mustache look. Now I'll make the line bigger. Next, I'll take some black paint and color in the lines I created. I learned that one in kindergarten. Now I'll spray some mace on my face, and there we go! 